Well, I was in a uh, car car wreck here here recently, and uh, my back got broke. Ooh. And I was uh, wondering what I should do. I'm not li- liable. I was a passenger, and the driver is who is liable for it. Matt, sounds like a serious situation. Uh, Jim, he was a passenger, uh, serious car accident, back got broke. He, uh, Matt, sounds like he needs some advice. Matt, uh, quick, quickly, because we're running out of time, look, uh, back injuries, it sounds like yours is a serious one, but all back injuries are serious because, quite frankly, a lot of them, even if they don't appear to be serious, can limit your ability in the future to earn a living, okay? And so that means you're going to be impaired for what you could earn for you and your family going forward. They've got to be handled very carefully, okay? So a couple things. You have a potential case against, I don't know if it was a two-car accident, against the person who uh, hit you all, assuming it was their fault. Uh, I, you also have a potential case, and people don't understand the nuance of this a lot, but you have a potential case against the guy you were driving with, even though he's your friend. If he has insurance, you can make a claim against his insurance company. If he's responsible, then they have to pay you their policy limits, uh, assuming your damages uh, or at least go you know, equal to those policy limits. They have to pay you up to the policy limits, I guess is a better way to put it. And the third thing is there are potential cases a lot of times, again, as I talked about before, they require a lot of expertise and are often expensive, potentially against the car or vehicle. People and even lawyers overlook this a lot of times, but there are cases out there that particularly if the injury is catastrophic or serious, that can be brought a lot of times against the car manufacturer, tire mm-hmm. manufacturer, right. seatbelt manufacturers. If those components don't perform the way they're supposed to, in the crash. And so those have to be looked at early, usually, and very carefully by somebody who knows what they're doing. And you may have a potential to recover there. But if you have a serious back injury, yeah. you have a serious case and you need to contact an attorney. Yeah, something he can't do on his own, can he, Jim? This is something he, he, would, he's got to bring no, his no, professionals in. Too, too much at stake. If yeah, you've got a serious absolutely. Injury, you, need to, you, need, you need some help.